through the mark. Yep. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm too tall for this. Good morning. Today, we're trying to go to the railway markets in uh, Western Bangkok, and then on to the floating markets. But they're about three hours away from where I'm at, so it's gonna be a bit of a mission. bus terminal. Apparently it's an hour and something on the bus. Or I could just catch a scooter. So we're here at the railway street markets where a train track comes through this market and you've got people just uh, selling stuff inches away from the tracks. We've got tourists like myself and sometimes locals buying goods from here, uh, using the railway tracks as a thoroughfare. Apparently when the train comes through, everybody just knows the schedule and five minutes before they pull over all this stuff inside, they warn all the tourists. And then as soon as the train has passed, stalls are back out and selling resumes. Sorry, a bit distracted trying to dodge all these canopies. It's a bit better. This is pretty cool, eh? One of the unique things about Thailand, it's just how they make use of all the space. You see it on the roads with all the mopeds cramming into every inch, and you see it in here, the way that they just use every inch available to them to hold a market. So that was it. That was the train that comes through the center of the markets. You saw how uh, how busy it was. It's such a big event, such a big tourist event every day. And we were all crowded there, trying to get a glimpse of it coming through, trying to get the best photo we could. I'd be surprised if anyone got a decent photo, to be honest, it was, uh, it was all over so quick in the moment. But such a, great genuine experience and uh, it might just be a train going through the center of a market to some but to others it's something that just doesn't happen on our corner of the globe all right next stop we are heading to the floating markets which is about 12 kilometers away and Hopefully it'll be a bit more peaceful than this melee. Wow. This is hectic, ladies and gentlemen. We, this is worse than it was when we were going through originally. I think every, it's like poking an ant's nest. The way the train came through, it's livened everybody up. With the markets this side, the other side of the street isn't as interesting.
The floating markets that I'm about to go to aren't the only ones in Bangkok and they're definitely not the closest ones to here but they do have a reputation for being some of the best so I've got my fingers crossed that this is more uh, Instagrammable than a very crowded atmosphere that I'm expecting with smelly water so hopeful but skeptical nonetheless So I've got to the floating markets and I'm on the boat now. But because I got here so late, I've got the fee discounted to 1,000 bar from 3,000. And uh, yeah, apparently per boat, not per, per person. So that was a floating market. I'm now heading back home and I've just had some tasty dinner, ramen with mixed vegetables. But the mixed vegetables seem to be a lot of cabbage and not much else. So uh, yeah, yesterday I said that I didn't think that uh, getting vegan meals in Bangkok would be too easy um, street vendors it's not happening but some of these restaurants you just have to look on the side dishes and make your own meals out of what they do from there I had a bit of a problem getting back as well at the bus station on the way back where they refused to let me on the bus they kept saying it was full uh, the five o'clock was full but it left with no passengers the 5 30 full left with two passengers the six o'clock full zero passengers so i had to sort myself out with a cab i think it was all a bit fishy to me that they were trying to push me to take their friend's uh, tuk-tuk for 150 instead of taking the bus 20 baht for the bus so just extortion of tourists as paying a lot more money than locals would for exactly the same thing 